Hello, welcome to the problem of the day. And today we have nth natural number. Okay, let's read the problem statement. Well, the problem statement says, given a positive integer n, you have to find out nth natural number after removing all the numbers containing the digit 9. Okay, so it is like kind of simple to understand, but the implementation is going to be a little different. Okay, well, just like how you find your normal nth natural number, you just go up to that number and uh, just get it on the position of it well it's quite simple right but here the trick is that we have to avoid all the numbers which contain 9 all right let's see the sample test cases well as you can see here the first uh, case that is given to us is n equals 8 okay at this time you can see that 8 is actually the position why because till 8 we are not having any 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 nat uh, any number containing 9 okay so any natural number containing 9 we have to avoid that till 8 we did not encounter any so 8 is the 8th number okay the things changes uh, the things start to change here okay now what's happening here is you are given n equals 9 once you try to do the same thing here you have to write the numbers and you do not like you have to skip 9 at this case if you try to count First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Ten would lie at the ninth position. Okay? And that is what you have to do. At this position, what number lies? Fine. I hope now the question is clear to you. Okay? At this position, this is the nth position given to you. What number will lie at this nth position? All right. So, one, like the first approach that uh, we must go for. Is the linear one right uh, you just you can keep on iterating till n and every number you can check it whether it contains if uh, like if it contains 9 or not if it does not you keep on continuing your count and if it does then what you have to do you have to skip it simple and uh, seeing that if whether a number contains 9 or not you simply have to like you can simply make a function here which breaks up the digit just by dividing it by 10 and modulo like using the modulo and the division operator you can keep on uh, like checking each and every digit and you can see if there is 9 or not but this approach in which you go for uh, you know like from 1 till n this is going to be of order of n approach right but we can surely do better than this so for that uh, we must know a little about number system okay let's see Let's talk about base 2. Well, in base 2, we have only two possibilities. Either we have 1 or 0. Or let me write it in sequence. That would be better. 0 and 1, right? So what happens once these two digits are exhausted? So once we start counting in base 2, uh, the first digit is going to be, or you can say the 0 digit is this. Then we represent 1 like this. And then the numbers start to repeat. Correct? This is how it goes. So here, if you have to compare it with decimal numbers, this is the representation of 3 in binary. Right? So why are we studying binary here? This is just to give you an idea that how the base system is working. Okay? Just a little refresh to you. So when now I talk about base 10, how many possibilities do we have? We have 10 possibilities. What are the 10 digits? These are these. Okay, so now once these 10 digits are exhausted, what happens? We start the repetition, 18 and 19, correct? Again, once the digits are exhausted, we take up the next one and we start the repetition and so on and so forth. Okay, now this is actually happening in base 10. In base 10, 9 is being included, correct? If I have to write... So, like the same thing in base 9. How many possibilities do I have? And at this time, I would have these many digits. I would not have the last one. Correct? And after this, repetition would start. So it would be 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8. Correct? After that, after that it is going to be 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, and so on and so forth. You get it, right? 
So this is in base 9 and this is in base 10. Now you can see all the digits which are being included here are actually not containing 9. Correct? So these are the values from which, like from this set, we can return the value. But we have to take care of the question. The question says that it is giving you the nth number. Okay, and you have to return in base 10, in base 10, you have to return what is the magnitude of that number. Okay, so what we would simply do is, I would take help of this chart. Whatsoever number is given to me, I'm going to see what it looks like in base 9. And I'd return that up. Because if you check, um, let's say, if you check this ninth value in this chart, you can say it is, um, okay, uh, skipping that 0 at 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth. At ninth, the ninth number is 10. That is actually the correct answer for this input, correct? If we have to, let's say, find out for any other number, then we can use the same chart. So now, the simple motive that is uh, going to be followed here in this question is that we have to convert our nth number to base 9. Okay, I hope now you have um, seen that how we have figured out the question. Okay, let's try to see how we can convert any number to another base. Okay, uh, I hope you must remember that how you used to convert your base 10 to base 2. Right, let's just give a give it a revisit. Let's say you have 12, okay, and you have to convert it to binary. The base of binary is 2. Then what you, what you would do is you would keep on dividing uh, the number, let's say in our case 12, we would keep it dividing by 2. So once we divide it, you can see uh, it would be 6 and the remainder would be 0. Again, dividing num uh, the number, it will be 3, the remainder would be 0. Again, dividing the number, it would be 1 and the remainder would be 1. And we read it like this correct and again if i have to convert this number if i have to convert this number to decimal what would i do i would take i would take these numbers and i would multiply it with their place values okay like this and once i do that it is going to be 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 which uh, which means we have made 12 Similarly, if we have any base 10 number, okay, let's say uh, if we uh, have 18, which is a base 10 number, and we try to convert it to base 9, what will happen? Well, for that, we have to keep on dividing with 9. So 9, it goes 2 times, the remainder would be 0. And if, okay, yeah, now I have to read the digits. We cannot divide it anymore. So here, I have... 2 and 0. Now if I try to convert it in binary and see whether this is the correct representation or not, I have to do 2 multiplied with 9 to the power 1 plus 0 multiplied with 9 to the power 0, which would give me 18, right? So just so that you understand it better, let's take one more example. Let's take 40. So if we start dividing it with 9, then let's say it goes four times. Four would be the remainder, right? And we cannot have like we cannot have it. Uh, we cannot divide it any further because the number is smaller. So we have to read it like this. Once we read it like this, we have forty-four. And if we have to check whether it is working or not, it is nine to the power one and it is nine to the power zero, correct? And we have to add the digits. Well, here what I'll get is I'll simply get four multiplied with nine plus four which is 40 okay so this is how i'm converting the number and this is how what i have to return so if i'm given uh 40 in the question as n value okay i have to return 44 all right so i hope now the question is clear to you uh let's try to see the code of it so here i have written the code for the same uh, i'm doing the same thing that i have shown you right now what we're doing I have made two number like two variables here. One is taking care of the number that we are getting from the uh, from the user, or you can say in the input, which is base ten number. And we have to make this number, which is base nine number. I'm taking help of the position because I have to take care of the powers. Okay, 
9 to the power 0, 9 to the power 1. I have to take care of that. That is why this position. <laughs> now here, I am just reducing my number, base 10 number 1 by 1, just like we break down the number. And I am adding it to base 9, just with the necessary changes. So what am I doing here? Uh, let's say, okay, I have taken up 40 again. So here I am taking more, uh, taking modulo with 9 that I can get the remainder. So what I'm doing with remainder is I'm multiplying it with position so that I can add it to the base 9 number. Okay, I'll keep on adding that. Once I have added it, I will reduce my base 10 number. But this time, remember, I'm not using 10 to reduce it. I'm using 9 because we are talking about base 9. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the position because now position uh, is actually going to be uh, moving with the pace of the decimals. All right, 9 to the power 0, then 1, then so on and so forth. Now here, once you have understood this part, the number is being broken down and this number is being built up. Just like in this fashion we have seen here. Uh, now let's try to see where, uh, how it is passing against all the test cases. Well, here's the same code. Let's try to compile that. All right, it is giving us the expected output. Let's try to submit it. And it is working for all the test cases. Talking about the complexity here, well, it is asking for log n. And what we are doing is we are just iterating the number. All right, we're just iterating through the number that is given to us. Thus, it is already log n. Okay, so I hope you have understood the approach of it. And if you like the approach, do give the video a like and present your thoughts in the comments. Thank you.